Okay, you change diet from what to what? Uh, you use the... What's that? Burp. The burp? first one was the burp from pet lovers, the okay. usual. Change to Harrington. We changed to Harrington. The five burp. Okay, um, so it's just uh, it's a commercial seed pellet, uh, seed mix. Uh. It's yeah, a it's pellet. A pellet yeah. Yeah. Okay, have you brought the hamster out to anywhere in the last two months? Any new new environment or let's say some other hamster come and visit. I'm trying yeah, to see whether any so. contagious disease. Okay, so for example you bring the hamster out to some other place, sometimes they catch a disease, so they catch a virus or it's catch something that will cause uh, the intestine to come out diarrhea. Mm. Okay? Uh, for three weeks we send them to Pet Hotel. When was that? Three weeks uh, ago. December eighteen to or December sixteen to January six. The pet hotel is with other hamsters or just uh, just yours only? Uh, with rabbits. Rabbits, and huh? One hamster, another hamster. Okay, how old are you? Sorry? How old are you? Uh, the April two thousand fifteen is their oh, birthday. Quite, quite young only, huh? Yeah. Okay, so basically when you are telling me wet tail, we're worried about a few things. Okay, mm. first one we worry about is dietary indiscretion means the food change or they eat something wrong, then mm. the intestine not so good, so you get diarrhea. Mm. Okay, second thing we worry about is contagious disease. So basically, mm. if let's say they're gone to pet hotel in in I mean with uh, others animals, sometimes uh soy and uh, shit on this, they sometimes they get a bit of a virus. Okay, affects the intestine. It's like stomach flu eh? so food poisoning is first one second one is stomach flu mm -hmm. okay the last one we we'll worry about is uh they swallow something wrong so in other words uh something like thread or you call it a foreign body la. okay so if you swallow seed toy anything sometimes it affects the intestine la. Okay. Uh, for yours, uh, we there's actually put sorry. We yeah. actually put a small uh, stem of a. Uh, it's like a uh, wood. Because mm. the pet pet shop said that it's uh, good for their stomach. Okay. Before he has having diarrhea, I saw him. She's really biting on eating. Uh, eating it swallow, is it? Yeah. He, he will nibble on it. Okay. And that that one, when do you give it? I was uh, been for there for months. But months, recently, uh? before he was having diarrhea, he was eating that. Uh, yeah, because he has a he used to be very big, and then he he eats a lot. His appetite is very big, is bigger than the other one. So he eats whatever. So he will start to nibble on everything. He's a condominium man. Quite a pump fella. Yeah, he was okay. very fat before. Yes, huh? very fat before. Is it now? It's less, ah. Uh? Yeah, so much less. less. You have a picture. Okay, last Monday was eighty grams. Okay, yeah, he lost a bit of yeah, 74 grams, huh? Yeah. Oh? So if it is... like this before. Cute, lah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. You're right, lah. Oh, a little bit of uh, wet tail, lah. Mm. Oh. Okay, so there are a few things that we can recommend for you. Okay, so... Okay, first one is... You probably have to separate from the other fellow. Just in case anything contagious, ah, we don't want the other fellow to get it. Actually, the other one is here. Not connected, huh? No. Mm. Good, good, good. You have a tiny before I took it out. Okay, good, good. So, uh, that's the first thing. Okay, second thing we recommend for you is either you change back to the old diet, okay, or you stick with the new one. But if you want to stick with the new one, okay, we'll give some antibiotics first. Okay? Actually, we, yeah. we went to last Monday to another vet. Yeah, no problem. Come and, uh, she, she gave me the this one. Uh, when we found out, we straight away on that same day, we brought to the vet. Good, good, good. Yeah, yeah. so actually, we, we've been, been following the this one. Thing. Is there any improvement? The poke uh, is not so watery now, but he's not eating. Yeah, he's not eating and the weight is good, dropping. Dropping every day. Okay. Did, they, did they ask you to change back to your old diet? Yeah, uh, this is the old diet. So this is the old one already, yeah. la. okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Okay, the second thing that uh, they have treated for is also a bacterial infection. Okay, uh, with not eating, uh, okay, we can try a few things. Okay, first one is we can try some appetite stimulants. Okay, to try to make the fella eat. Okay, at the same time, since it's improving, I recommend you finish the course of antibiotics just to clear up any of the infection. Uh. Okay, with the food wise, now that you go back to the old one, okay, shouldn't be a problem. Okay, I'm only worried that something happened at the pet hotel. Uh. So meaning that let's say they give a lot of treats or they give other things. Actually and no, she was um they were the one who told us to get them on a diet because they were too fat. 
So we would we would um, feed them a lot of treats. So she told us it's it's very unhealthy. Yeah. You have to stop exactly. that. Exactly. So she didn't give them treats, and then she just kept them on the the usual mm. food. That's it. And she was doing well in the pet hotel, was it? Was she okay in the pet hotel? No. <laughs> He's okay, he's very really active, but he lost a bit of weight, mm. but he's very active. Yeah, yeah. They're still active, but because she never gave him treats. So, so okay. Yeah, so the, the reason why I'm asking about that is because mm. there's this thing called diet preference. So basically, it, when they give a lot of treats, they only want to eat the treats because it's tastier. They don't mm. want to eat uh, their normal seeds. They only want to eat sunflower seed. They only want to eat their treats because these are more tasty to them. Mm. So that's why I'm trying to figure out whether it is a new type of treat or something they've given. Nah. Okay. But now even the treats he doesn't want to eat. Doesn't want to eat, yeah. is it? Okay. Yeah. Um, have a look in the mouth, okay, and see whether anything wrong with the, the teeth. Uh. But it's still quite active, huh? Is it? Huh? Well, it's very active before. It's oh, is it now? It's because not it's different. It's so we're very worried. <laughs> oh, is it? This one, you know this one? He used to flip this one. Uh. He'll bite oh. and flip. But now not really, yeah? yeah. At this rate, it's taking too long, then he will lose all energy and never eat. Okay, so uh, the other thing that I want to check is whether anything wrong with the mouth. Uh, okay? Because sometimes they have overgrown teeth. Okay, but I don't have a. Uh, mm. Yeah, he's still very active. Uh. So is he um, getting, he's getting better, right? Mm. Um, okay, from what you have described, okay, you mentioned that the stools are getting more solid, okay, so in that aspect is improving, okay, but like you mentioned, it's not eating, okay, so that's the only issue, yeah. okay, so that's the only thing we're trying to tackle, okay, um, unfortunately for hamsters, unless you want to do things like x ray this, there's not much you can do in that sense, okay, uh, usually what we do is we stabilize the diet, Okay, first thing, so no treat all this. Mm. Okay, secondly, we treat for infection, which is what you're doing already. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, thirdly, okay, we try to see whether it's due to the environment. Okay, so let's say, have you, have you had any renovation or anything at home or anything special? Do you change the place of the location of the hamster? Do you mm. change the, this uh, cage itself? Mm. No, all the same. Nothing, uh? yeah. Okay. No worries. So the the other thing that we can try to treat for is parasites, so intestinal parasites. Mm -hmm. Okay, so those ones uh could be the cause of the diarrhea. Okay, so we will give some medication for that also. Mm -hmm. Huh? But is there anything that like um because you were doing some research yeah, and you sure. found that this is a pedialyte? Pedialyte yeah. is a type of food, is it? Uh it's like the, the drink that you give for, yeah, for it's babies, like yeah? Electrolyte drink, yeah. yeah. So can, can we give him that one? Yeah, okay. Does it help? Uh, to be honest with you, I would recommend you give the ones from the pet shop the more, more of the critical care of this because uh, for hamsters. Oh. Okay, because the, the, the one, the pediatra, is it for hamsters? It's Actually, for babies, no, it's for right? babies yeah. yeah I, just wouldn't, want, no. I wouldn't recommend it because oh, the diet okay. is different, firstly. Yeah. And also, the concentrations of the things inside might be different also, so you mm. might actually make it worse. Uh. Mm, okay. Mm. Okay? Uh, the good thing about using electrolytes is, because a lot of diarrhea, the water keeps coming out of the diarrhea, so they get dehydrated very fast. Mm. So you need to, uh, if it's not drinking water, you need to force feed. Uh. Uh, what, what is inside this water? What is it different colour? Uh, it's a uh, vitamin. It's a uh, multivitamin. Always the same? Yeah. yeah. Always the same. Okay. Since day one, they both from there. Okay, no problem. Okay, so uh, that's what we can recommend for you. Okay, the second, the, what we can do for you in addition to whatever you've done already is mm -hmm. because you've already uh, tried the food thing, you've already given antibiotics. So what we can recommend for you is appetite stimulant. Mm -hmm. Okay, and the other one is we can use something for parasites. Okay, so intestinal parasites. Mm -hmm. Okay, and um, over the next few days, it should start to pick up. Okay, if it doesn't pick up, you might have to do an x-ray because you're worried about the shavings uh, might be stuck in the intestine. Okay, that one we don't know lah, because only x-ray can tell us. The one, the toy, remember you said eat a lot of the food, the wood shavings? The wood, yeah. uh, some, sometimes when they eat too much, all start in the intestine lah, then irritates the intestine. It doesn't come out in the shape, you see. Mm, okay. So, so you do x-ray now? Can, can. But it's not typically done though. So, uh, usually, because, uh, how do you say? Uh, we, I don't think we can do it today, but, uh, mm. Sometimes we are unable to see anything on x-ray because 
the hamster is very small. Okay, so the X-ray is not typically done. Okay. okay, but definitely if you want to do the X-ray, we can still do it for you. Huh? Oh. Oh, okay, but if we do that X-ray, that X-ray, that X-ray, um, if there's any wood shavings inside, we will be able to see it. Yes, you will. But the issue is if it's stuck, the only treatment is to operate because we can't push it out. Okay, so uh, the alternative will be to change to a high fiber diet, which you tried already. And then high fiber will sort of push everything out uh, because you keep moving the bowels, you see. But because she, he's been already pooing, so wouldn't it have been taken out already? Depends. If it's lodged in the intestine, so if it's stuck in the intestine, if it's, let's say, for example, the intestine is a tube, if it's hooked onto somewhere, okay, or if, let's say, at the bend of the intestine, is lodged there, mm -hmm. okay, what happens is the stools will come out, but because the wound shavings might cause irritation to the lining, mm -hmm. okay, you will still get wet stools. Oh, okay. oh, I know where you're coming from. You're saying that if he's shitting, he mm. should by right shit out. But mm. sometimes if the things are too large, they don't move along the small intestine properly. Mm. Oh, but anyway, I think for this one, okay, because it's still relatively active, okay, so what I would recommend for you, okay, is continue the medication, okay, this one to treat infection. Do we f um, finish all or because it's just five to seven days? Yeah, uh, because how many, it's only been a uh, few days, right? How five many? days already. Five days already. Six, the, today is the sixth day. Mm. I think give it for another three more days at least. Okay, mm. add in the appetite stimulant. Okay, if it starts to eat, then you have no problem. Okay, mm. uh, we will give intestinal parasite treatment. Mm. Okay, and then that will cover most of the things already that can cause wet tail. Okay. okay.